Hi, I'm Steve from skis.com, and we're going to talk about the difference between men's skis and women's skis. There actually is a difference between the skis these days. Unlike 10 years ago when manufacturers produced women's skis, which were basically just men's skis, but with female graphics on them. Today, women's skis really truly are built different, and they do help women to ski better because there's a certain number of differences between women and men, as I'm sure you know. Let's kind of talk about those. There are four basic differences between women's skis and men's skis. They're lighter, they're softer, the balance point is moved forward, and of course they have prettier graphics. All right, let's talk about each one of those. Women's skis are built with lighter materials because generally women are lighter than men, and they don't want to have to push around 15, 20 pounds of ski. They're also made to be softer because women, again, are lighter, and so they need to be able to flex the ski completely and if the ski is made for a 170, 180 pound man, average weight for a man, and you put a 120 pound woman on it, they're not gonna be able to get the ski to flex properly. And if the ski doesn't flex, the ski's not gonna turn quite as well. The third and probably the biggest difference though, is the mounting point of the ski is actually moved approximately one inch further forward. And the reason for that is this. Men typically carry most of our weight in our upper body and our shoulders. Women, on the other hand, carry most of their weight in their rear and their thighs. And what that does is, is that it puts men in a more forward position in terms of their weight naturally, where women, because they're carrying their weight behind them, have a much more difficult time. Many years ago, when I first taught my wife to ski, I would be constantly saying to her, bend your knees, put your weight forward, bend your knees, put your weight forward. And she would say, I am, I am. But she wasn't getting the skis to respond properly. And that's because she was on a pair of men's skis. Nowadays, and so what women have to do is they literally have to get their weight forward just to be balanced on the ski, and then being able to push forward from there becomes very difficult. So now women's skis are built by moving the binding an inch forward, gives them a perfect balance on the skis in a normal position. So now when they bend their knees forward and put their weight forward, they're actually able to engage the ski and make it go around. So women's skis do make it much easier for a woman to ski. You can use a men's ski if you're a very aggressive or heavy skier and it might be better for you, but for the most part, women's skis are primarily what women are picking these days. And then lastly are the graphics. Uh, women's skis have a variety of different graphics. You can often get your favorite color or style. They're, they're pretty, you can get boots to match, match your clothing, stuff like that. So women, if you're still skiing on men's skis, uh, I strongly recommend that you get a ski that's made specifically for women. It'll increase your ability to ski, make it more fun, and you won't be so tired at the end of the day from trying to push those heavy men's stiff skis around. You'll have a nice, flexible, easy ski just to whip around. Uh, I put my wife on a pair of women's skis, and literally within an hour, I noticed, this is some eight or 10 years ago, that she instantly became a confident skier. She went from a slow, conservative skier to, I turned my shoulders, and there she is right behind me, because the skis gave her confidence to pick up speed and to ski much faster.